Well, if I understand your question correctly, it sounds like you want to know if and how you can add more websites to the FTP client so that you can upload to your domain site number one, you can also upload to your domain site number two, three, four, five, and so on. Uh, well, if you can, yes, you can. Uh, how do you do it? Well, basically the same way as you do your first one. As far as the having a default uh, site, that's just something that, well, if, for example, you have one particular website you're going to be uploading a whole lot more to than the other ones, eh, pick that as your default. doesn't really matter because you can go up here to your site manager and just click on whichever one, because right now I've got two of them in my site manager, uh, just whichever one you want to you know, connect to. You could have 50 of them in here if you want. That might be a little overkill, but you know, still, there's no limit. And another thing, too, that's not mentioned, and that's my site manager, another thing, too, that's not mentioned in the video, I don't believe, is this little guy right here. Now, again, remember, your port 20 is 21 more times than not, so unless you're told otherwise by your web hosting company, just slap a 21 in there, and you're good to go. Um, but let me show you this real quick here. I'm going to go ahead and add a third one to my FileZilla, and I'm going to add my address in here, and then the username... But this thing here is uh, something that's not used a whole lot, but you can use this Quick Connect as a result. Now this is one here. Well, let me finish this up here real quick. Let me get my password in here and port 21, and let's Quick Connect. Now that since I'm using this guy here instead of my Site Manager. Let's get connected again here real quick. Like, here we are. Now, since I'm using this one here instead of my site manager, because you'll see uh, site manager, it's not in here. So I do not have it listed in here per se, but it is being utilized. But if I were to disconnect, which I'm going to do right now, which one of these guys do I disconnect from? Uh, disconnect. Then I've got it in my history here. I just click on it and we're reconnected. So you can use this Quick Connect too. Uh, and why this is separate from the Site Manager, I don't know. But again, just a little extra info for you. Get, get rid of those. But that's about it. Uh, that's all I can think of. Now, if you know, like I said, play around with it. You can add as many as you want. You, uh, websites, uh, you can either, I suggest go ahead and adding them to the Site Manager. You know, just my you know personal opinion. That way you've got them right here. You can click on them and connect, bada bing, bada boom, you're there. You know, you enter all the information here. Remember, port 21 is your way to go. And if not, let's say you're just going to be uploading to, uh, you know, one person's website that needs help or whatever, the quick connect is a way to go. Because you can always hit the drop down arrow here and go back to that at some future time. Uh, you can, cl you know, clear out the history. Frankly, I don't, I don't see why. You can always leave that there for, again, future reference. It's already got all this information stored in there for you. But that's pretty much it. I mean, that's a couple of ways you can, you can connect to your FTP site or to your host. Hopefully, this has helped you out. If not, let me know, and I'll see if I can, uh, you know, get the answer to you a little bit better the next time. But hopefully, this will do the trick for you and get you into the uploading mode. Thanks a lot for uh, leaving the comment.